Need help to find the right fit and feel? Stay tuned. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the most important tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, imagine an intelligent avatar helping you solve online clothing shopping problems, such as identifying the right fit and feel. This is Anina Nett's goal, to develop advanced intelligent avatars that can expertly inform marketers and metaverse users about fashion. The intelligent avatars created by Anina are specialists in fashion technology, so anyone who interacts with them can learn about all aspects of the industry as well as specific fashion products like 360 Fashion's wireless charging wallets and robotic gowns. The pupors is to build an intelligent bot that businesses can ask questions to, such as how can I use R in my business, why should I have a wearable in my line, what kind of wearables are popular today. Brands will essentially be able to mimic their in-store experience in the metaverse by having intelligent staff members on hand for 24 hours a day. Anina says, for fashion, virtual beings make sense from a metaverse perspective. Brands who want to be part of the metaverse but don't have the ability to staff it 24-7 win by having them wearing their clothing and talking with their audience. Ready to be part of the future? News source, Blockster. Marks and Spencer's first ever virtual influencer has been met with skepticism by its customer base, with one social media user describing it as a misjudged gimmick. The retail giant announced its digital creation, called Mira, via Instagram and said the influencer will be showcasing her favorite pieces from its autumn winter collection. The surprising move has drawn a mixed response from shoppers, with many believing she is an unrealistic representation who does not represent M and S customers. Followers commented that they wished M and S would show some more black people, more disabled people, more plus size, and more of everything rather than this computer-generated influencer. The majority commented that they think it a bad move on M and S's part. News source, Charge Retail, Get Creative with AI. Israeli AI company DID, is launching a new platform where users can upload a single image and text to generate video. With this new site called Creative Reality Studio, the company is targeting sectors like corporate training and education, internal and external communication from companies, product marketing and sales. Users can upload an image of a presenter or select one from the pre-created presenters to start the video creation process. Offensive deepfakes are a risk, thus they have put guardrails like filtration of swear words and racist remarks as well as image recognition to avoid the usage of famous people's faces. At launch, users will be able to sign up for free for a 14-day trial account and create up to 5 minutes of AI-generated 720 pixels video. After that, they can pay $49 a month to have access to 15 minutes of full HD AI-generated video, a PowerPoint plugin and email support. They also have ambitions of facilitating real-time video call translation and clone presenters that makes an avatar appear on video instead of you while you dictate the audio. News source, TechCrunch, why is VR growing? More devices for affordable prices are entering the market. According to a report published by China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, the nation hopes to export 25 million virtual reality VR devices by 2026. The nation's five-year plan states that metaverse-facing hardware and software sales should total $48.20 billion. In H1 2022, China's VR sector shipped 500,000 VR devices. The report listed VR which includes both augmented and mixed reality technologies as the 14th key technology industry. The list was developed according to technology trends in the US and South Korea. Over the next years, the country will support the development of 100 metaverse-facing companies and 10 national platforms. News source, Reuters, Retail and Crypto Expanding? For now it's luxury brands and fast food. A McDonald's in Lugano, Switzerland, started accepting Bitcoin as payment, and the fast food restaurant has received countless visits from the crypto community. Lugano, Switzerland, currently has 60 merchants accepting crypto as payment. The crypto community was eager to pay in Bitcoin to demonstrate the Lightning Network, 
a Layer 2 technology built on top of Bitcoin. The Plan B team is leading an initiative to onboard 60 merchants to accept crypto and plans to reach 1,000 merchants by Q2 2022. Tether and Plan B teams have the resources available to onboard and educate customers. News source, Cointelegraph, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.